Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP Lead Support. I have already published several videos under a playlist called SAPSD Real Time Scenarios. You can check out that. So, all the videos I have published under that playlist all are SAPSD enhancements only. But still, in the comment section, I can see that so many people are asking me to publish some more videos on SAPSD enhancements. That means people are not realizing that whatever the videos I published under SAPSD real time scenarios playlist, all are enhancements only. Anyway, so what I will do, I will create one more new playlist. And this time, I will name the playlist as an SAPSD enhancements. And uh, this is the first video as part of that playlist. I will provide the link in that uh, description. You can check out that. Okay, let's get started. So here, the issue here is that business want to do the pricing as part of port group wise as well. So there is one custom field, gadget port group. So the last six area section in the real uh, client location, right? There we have ports also available. So business want to decide the pricing should happen based on the port group also. If the if that uh, port is picked from this uh, port group A, this price should be. And if it's from port group B, different price should be determined. So in order to do that, we should add this custom field, judge port group into the field catalog. So we know that, right, the transaction code to access condition table is v slash 03. So here we can create the condition tables and uh, for uh, v slash 04, we can change the condition table and for v slash 05, to display the condition table. Okay, so whatever field that we see here in the field catalog, right? This and all called allowed field. So whatever field is available, for these fields only, we can create the condition table. The field is not here means we can't create the condition table for that field. And coming to the judged port group, what we're discussing now, this is a new custom field. So basically, we are going to add this field in VBAP table as well. VBAP table will be adding this group in the field as well. And the same field, judged port underscore group, going to add inside this field catalog. If we don't add this here, we can't create a condition table with the combination of that custom field. Right? So whenever we add any custom field, that should be added to the field catalog. Then only we can use it in the pricing level. Now let's understand how to add the custom field into this allowed field catalogs. Right? Okay, the first step is to first step is to we need to add this field into the structure. So you see here judged port group is an VBAP table. That means it's an item table field. So in pricing, we have two structures are there. That is KOMK. It's an um, header communication pricing structure. Okay, let me show you in the system also. SC11, KOMK. It is loading. Okay, see this one. It is in a communication header for pricing. Okay, and we have KO MP as well. Okay, 
it is loading okay yeah so this is for communication item for pricing right so if you want to add anything to the field catalog right then first step what should we do we should determine that field is relevant for which structure header or item as of now it's an item only so in this example it's an item structure so basically there are two structures are available kvmk az kvmp az okay let me show you here as well kvmk az so pricing communication header for customer modification is so, kvmk az and one more is there that is kvmpaz surprising so, communication item customer modification so that means these two structures are provided by sap to add some custom fields okay so yeah so we need to add field to this either of this structures either kvmkaz or kvmpaz okay as it is item field we should add that uh, this judged port group into the kvmpaz only okay and whatever we see the field in the field catalog in v03 or 4 or 5 so that is coming from kvmg structure show you that also kvmg see this is the allowed fields for condition structures kvmg let me not down here as well so kvmg so whatever we see the field here that is coming from here only so the the fields what we see in kvmg is nothing but the field what we see in this in this key field here in the v03 or v04 or v05 but we are not going directly add the field to this kvmg we will be adding the field to the another structure that is kvmp az remember that kvmz is equal to combination of kvmk az plus kvmp az let me show you that In kvmg structure if i search kv mkaz i can see this i can see this one here that means if we add that field into this uh, structure it's include basically standard include given by sap if you add that here into the structure it will directly populate to the kvmg as well similar way we have kvmp az also here as include if you add anything to kvmp az it will obviously reflect in kvmg as well and coming to kvmk in kvmk also something happens so here also we have that uh, kvmk as it has been included right so if you add in kvmk as it it will it will be reflected in kvmz as well as kvmk kvmk used in case of pricing sd pricing invoice pricing order pricing kvmz for the field catalog field and in kvmk i don't get the kvmp az because kvmp is an item communication structure if i open kvmp if i open kvmp here i can see kvmp az similar way i can't see kvmk az here that's for header only hope i made it clear yes so if you don't understand please leave me in the comment section i will try to explain that right so these are the basic structures that should that should that we should keep in our mind so kvo mg is the allowed fields in v03 0405 the first step is to determine the field from which table it's added data or item data as of now in our in our case it is an item data so this should be added to kvo mp z so add the field judged port underscore group 
into KOMP KZ. Remember that adding the field to the structure will be done by our ABAP team only. So we need to inform them. Then only they will add that. Once they add and activate the program, then it will obviously um, um, visible in that Vista 03, 04, 05 transaction codes in the allowed field list. Okay, it's an ABAP activity to add the field here. So it's simple that ABAP team can add append one structure by adding the new field. You see here we here also we have some lot of append structures as you see. You see here. So here also they have added one append structure. If I double click here, you see some field here, custom field, right? Judge model, judge D and Z, right? We have some field here. So this is also added by them only. Some custom, this is custom field only, right? So our ABAP team will add that as an append structure. This structure contains all the Z field. Once they will add and check and activate this, then it will obviously reflect in KOMZ. Then we can create the condition records for the combination. Then it will work, right? Yeah, the first step is to add the field judged port group into KOMP AZ. Yeah, before that, we should add the field in VBAP also, right? Yeah, that's step, step one. So once that is added, then we need to populate some data, the relevant data from VBAP table to this field. Okay, we have this field in now. KOMP ZZ port underscore group. So we need to pass VBAP ZZ port underscore group. So we need to pass this value to this value. So this is the source basically. This is the source where we get the port group data. So from this to this, we should pass to that KOMP pricing structure. Then only the condition record will be determined, right? So we need to pass this in where we can pass this in that user exit. This will include that is MV 35 AFZZ. So this include contains two user exits. Let me show you that. SC 38 MV 45 AFZZ. MB, five, AF, Z, Z. This one. Okay, this is the include program. This program will be triggered during save of an order. So this program contains a lot of user exits are available. Okay, so if I look for raising underscore prepare P. R E P A R E. So there are two structures user exists are available to pass the data to the KOMK and KOMP structures. You see here, there are two are there. One is so pricing prepare TKOMK. This is the one of the user exit. And one more also is there that is pricing prepare TKO MP. So TKO this so TKO MK is used to pass the data to header communication structure that is KO MK and user exit pricing prepare TKO MP is used to pass the data to KO MP structure. Right, so in this user exit, we should write the code, not this one. This is for header KOMK. This is a KOMP. We should add the logic inside this to pass like this VBAP, VBAP judged port group value should be passed to KOMP judged port group. So these are the two main steps that we should follow to pass the data, then only system will determine the relevant pricing condition records in the access sequence. So if you simply add the field into KOMP AZ or KOMK AZ and leave it as it is means, 
statistical records will be determined we need to populate the data to this field then only the relevant pricing tables will be verified to get the valid condition records so these are the two major steps add the field then add the logic into relevant places suppose if it is in a billing program okay so you know in a sales order program means we need to add the logic here to populate the data if it's a uh, billing program means we have uh, one more program is there that is rv sta gz so this is a billing user exit this is a billing user exit so we should use this include so this include contains again two more you see the again two more same user exits available here pricing prefer tkomk pricing prefer tkomp if you want to have the same logic in case of invoice also that means the port group value should pass it to be to in the order invoice means we should add the logic in both places okay or else okay, say 2.1 right so then why also you want to get the same pricing based on digit port group means again we should add the logic or else i don't want to write the logic like this in the billing user exits is there any way to get the same pricing in the invoice as well means yes there's a there's a possible way is there what we need to do step 3 is to add the custom field into vbrp as well that that port underscore group so if we add if we add the same field whatever we see in vbap so what is the field that we see in vbap if we have the same field data element domain everything same means as per standard behavior during creation of an invoice the same corresponding field data from vbak and vbap will be passed to the vbrp data that means the matching field value will be passed to vbrp as well simple so both way is same right this is the one way and uh, later definitely so um, this is how we should add the logic if you add like this means then pricing will work as expected okay and here also again this step we should follow here as well let me make it clear so this this is a mandatory step that we should follow always okay this mandatory step we should follow and uh, to get the data then we can simply pass to vbrp table also if you don't want to have the same field in vbrp means we can simply write some logic to get the relevant sales order for that invoice and get the port group value from vbap table directly and pass it to this pricing structures so either way is same right either way is same hope i made it clear so this is how we should add the field and write the logic in the relevant user exits if you still have any queries please do let me know we'll discuss again thanks everyone